Hi everybody. I why do I like forget how to talk to the camera? I haven't filmed in over a month. All the videos I've been posting have been pre-filmed, but I'm back in the United States after studying abroad for seven months. The past month I spent in New Jersey with my family. Now I'm back in Arizona and I have a lot of books to open up. <laughs> a lot of my packages were getting shipped to me when I was living in the UK, but also a lot of them were still being shipped to Arizona. So I came home this morning to what felt like Christmas and I haven't opened any of them yet and I'm so excited. I'm pretty sure they're all books because I tried to separate. I have like a box right here of all the clothes and makeup and stuff. And this stuff was all heavy, so I think it's all books, which is obviously what I'm most excited for anyway. So I did one like this last summer where I had like a hundred books, something crazy like that. So I'll link it so you can watch that. But while I was away, I closed my Amazon wish list. So this is basically all PR slash things that I ordered. A lot of them are things that I ordered, <laughs> but couldn't fit in my suitcase. So I just shipped them home and now I get to finally open them up. I don't even remember what half of them are. I'm super excited. <laughs> and I know you guys love seeing book hauls. So without further ado, I wanna go for like, is it annoying of me to wanna go for this one? Just cause it was the heaviest. <laughs> an Amazon package because that means I ordered it and I want to see what I got myself so while I was abroad I obviously couldn't buy that many books I think I only did one book haul the whole time I was there <gasps> I'm so glad I opened this one first so if you didn't know I recently hit 500,000 subscribers thank you so much by the way like none of this or basically anything I do would be possible without you. Thank you so much. And I decided to do a giveaway on my Instagram stories. If you wanna be part of giveaways, I do them all on Instagram, where I was gonna be fully annotating a book for two of my subscribers, and I opened it internationally, and I announced the two winners, and I let them choose any book they wanted for me to annotate, <laughs> and that's what this box is. So the first winner asked me to annotate Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, which I obviously could not pass that up because it's one of my favorite books, but I read it like, three years ago and have not reread it since. So I can't wait to reread it, write all of my thoughts and opinions inside of this. I thought of this idea after doing my annotating normal people vlog. You guys loved it. You all wanted me to do this for the giveaway and I thought it was a genius idea. And then the next giveaway winner asked for Addicted After All by Kristen Beck Ritchie, which is the seventh book in the Addicted Callaway Sister series, fifth book in the Addicted series. If you know, you know. I don't even own these new covers yet. This is so beautiful. It's a thick book, but I can't wait to reread Lillian Lowe's last book and annotate it for the winner. If you didn't know, my favorite series of all time but yeah so those are my two giveaway winner books i'm gonna fully annotate these as soon as possible and ship them out to the winners thank you to everyone that participated and thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers that is like literally unreal i can't even comprehend that okay this one is scaring me it says hashtag smut talk on the side my dad had to put that in my room <laughs> i need to know what's in there okay let's open this up you're invited to the early equinox ball what is this oh no i hate these things whenever i get a package with these little like confetti things in they're in my room for like months to come so i'm gonna be very careful right now is this jewelry what is this i got it out i don't know what this is about but it's the dark king by gina l maxwell and then there's this like oh my god do you see this wow this is nice i'm gonna put this on how cute is that now i have a necklace that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna just start stacking right here. Now I'm gonna go up to this side. Whatever's on top. An Amazon package. The Resurrection at Wildflowers by Michaela Smeltzer. This is the second book in a duology. I read it on my phone and I liked it and I wanted to own it. So I got it. <laughs> I already have the first book somewhere, I think. But yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go for another one of these. Just because they're easy to open. First, Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Also read this on my phone while I was in the UK and I was like, I need it. I loved this book. Please read this before summer ends if you haven't already. I know it's like trending and everyone's read it. It's trending for a reason. And then Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. This book was like what had come to life. Basically the girl was like an interviewer journalist and she interviewed her celebrity crush and it's their romance. It was so funny because like the guy she was interviewing was literally like her lock screen, like her celebrity crush. And she pulled him. Good for her. Next, I'm gonna go for, this is from Entangled Publishing. Oh, okay, there's a note. Valkyrie, Val, Valkyrie's Daughter. Oh my God, it's hardcover. This is nice. Wow, and these publishing companies really go all out. I'm pretty sure I'll have to read it to understand, but that's so cute. Aww. Okay, I'm, I'm caving and doing the one I've been excited about since the beginning. Um, This giant Amazon box, because why is it huge? It's so heavy. Have you ever seen a prettier package? Okay, let's go in order. Oh, Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, of course, because I love this series so far, and I'm so happy that I have a physical copy of it. Makes me want to just reread it. Next in here, ew. 
<laughs> Obviously, the Addicted Cowie Sister series is my favorite series ever. There's a spin-off series called Like Us series, which I love almost equally as much, but the reason it's not equal is because the last three books that came out, I absolutely hated, and this was the last one of those. It's called Infamous Like Us. I just don't like the characters. I don't like the books. I think they're boring. I think they're like just not the author's best work and kind of are like ruining the series for me, but I ordered this back in like January. I did read it. I gave it two stars solely because I like reading about the background characters, and I'm pretty sure I said this in the last summer book haul about the same couple when their other book came out, Um, but this is their last one. Thank God it's over, and now we're back to couples I actually do like, so all is good again. I'm gonna be talking about those more though in all the books I've read this summer video which will probably be right after this but you know me I have to order all the books in the series I can't just have like a few missing just because I randomly didn't like a few of them oh this is a monster the mindfuck series oh my god these pages are literally huge this is like reading a whole school textbook but this is like the bind up of all five books in one this series was like insane um I talked about it in like in all the books I read in April video if you want to hear about this nuts oh Okay, then I got Twisted Lies. This is huge. I haven't read this yet. I wanted to wait for the paperback. It's the last book in the Twisted series by Anna Huang, and I haven't read the third or the fourth. I've only read the first two, um, but now it's completed, and I can't wait to read the third and the fourth one. I remember liking the first two. Nothing like that like crazy stands out to me, but I just like really enjoyed them. So I heard this one's fake dating, which you know I love, so I can't wait to read. <laughs> this is gonna fall soon, so I think I'm gonna need to open this one next. Then I have Ruthless Night and Broken Kingdom by a jade these are two books in the royal hearts academy series I'm not gonna say anything about these yet you'll see in a video but yeah these are big and of course they have men on the cover boo tomato that's the end of that package this is very exciting because it says it's from netflix don't know if this is gonna be about a book or a movie or a show but i'll include it anyway based on the timeless love story by jane austen persuasion oh my god wait i'm so excited right now i haven't read persuasion actually but it was one of my summer reading books one summer. It was like an option to read for summer reading and I never read it because I chose Pride and Prejudice instead. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of classics, but Jane Austen is a genius, so. Your Weekend is booked. Oh, this is the one with Dakota Johnson. Okay, I've seen people talking about this. Oh, this is so cute. I don't think there's a book in here, but definitely cute. Okay, there's a tea strainer. I know that now because I just came back from England. I would not have known what this was eight months ago. A tea pop. Honey lavender tea. I'm about to make this as soon as this video is over. Oh my God, these are like love letters. A cookie? Oh, a candle. Oh my God, that smells so good. Good job, Netflix. You hooked me. I'm gonna make tea and watch your show. Going over here. I don't want to say too much because I'm going to talk about this in all the books I read this summer video, but this is Daisy Hates by Jessa Hastings. She said, hi Steph, meet Daisy, I hope you love her, have the best summer, from Jessa, who is the author, which is so cool. This is my friend Ellie's favorite book, series, everything. Um, she actually annotated the first one for me when I annotated her normal people, and now I'm hooked on this universe. Thank you so much, Jessa, for sending me this. I can't wait for you guys to hear my thoughts and opinions coming up soon. Another package from Entangled Publishing. Okay, Shadow of Light, An Ember of Night, a lively imaginative love story with plenty of hellish energy. Thank you, Entangled Publishing. Um, I also had another Entangled Publishing box that someone opened because these boxes were just loose in my room. I have this series, Furyborn, Kingsbane, and Lightbringer, the Imperium Trilogy. This looks very interesting. I don't know why it's giving me like divergent vibes. And they also sent me April, May, Fall. I don't know if she's doing yoga on the front. Cute. Next, this was from a PR package from the brand Mad Happy, and it's called the Mad Happy Journal. This journal was carefully created to help you learn more about yourself and your emotions. Inside, you'll find a guide to your fundamental feelings and a set of daily templates to help you explore and express your emotions. Oh my god, cute. Oh, it's like like you can log your emotions. That's such a cute idea. Thank you, Mad Happy. I see this giant box on the bottom. That's all one. I'm gonna open that last. Oh, oh, oopsie. Things You Never Got Over by Lucy Score, which I read, but I needed the physical copy of. You know, it's my summer routine when I'm away. Just order the books after I read them. <laughs> and then Twisted Hate, this is the third book I mentioned earlier that I'm going to be reading soon. Another Entangled Publishing. <laughs> A hot romantic comedy series. It came with an eye mask, and look what it says. Go away, I'm dreaming my way into a romance book. Sleepover vibes. Good night streaks. Mama's Boy, that's concerning. Neanderthal, also concerning. 
This also came with a mug that's very big, and I'm very excited about that because I love big mugs. Yay! The next book in that series is called Mansplainer. That isn't the most red flags I've ever heard in a couple of titles of books. I don't know what is. Okay, next I have this, which you're like, that's not a book, and like, you're right. But I wanted to show you it anyway because it's about books. I ordered this t-shirt from the brand Mooncast Collective. A little baby tea that just says written by sally rooney i saw it and i bought it immediately i'm gonna go for this green box from the brand coco kind oh i think i know what this is they reached out to me before the summer i turned pretty series came out it's a skincare brand but they did a collab with the summer i turned pretty tv show look at this bag a little tote bag an spf and a skin serum and a little visor like okay that's cute you can watch my summer i turned pretty reading vlog <laughs> Feeling infinity, time is running out. Oh, there's a whole ass like sand hourglass in here. There's some pencils. They sent me a little necklace like this. Oh, it's really pretty. It's called Stealing Infinity by Allison Noel. And then special delivery. Let's open this. Whoa, I can't even show you this. Oh, that's this series. Oh, I have these books. It's, I didn't know a new one was coming out. I've never read them, but I have them. Vampires are sexy AF. Okay. Pop tarts. Very interesting. There's no book in here, but I guess it's just in preparation of the book. There is my little book haul. Okay, that's not little. I know for a fact I've ordered more books than this and they're not here yet. So maybe I should have waited, but no, I have no patience. So yeah, those are all the books that I've been sent slash ordered. Hope you enjoyed seeing all things I got. I know I enjoyed showing you. I love doing hauls. I move into my new apartment in two weeks and I have to reset up the whole book wall. If you know, you know. These will get added to that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next one very, very soon. Bye.